Welcome to Welcome on Stage, <laughs> Carla, uh, a member of the last of the DG EduHack 2020 Global Award winning teams, the team Believe. Hello, Carla. Hello, how are you? Oh, we're fine. I, I've been working only for half the day, so uh, I'm not as tired as I could have been. And uh, what's, the, <laughs> what's the time in your place? Here it's 10 a.m. Oh, so you're already in the morning. <laughs> Great. We're deep into yes. the afternoon. Uh, so, Carla, uh, can you tell us a bit about uh, the solution uh, that you provided last year? It's called EduSex and aims at making sexual education available to all. Is that right? Yes, exactly. So I'm going to start. First of all, good afternoon, good morning to everyone. My name is Carla Rojas and today I'm going to represent EduSex team that is formed here, <laughs> that is formed by Nida Quintana, Sergio Farfán, Carlos Rojas, Lucia Corilla, and myself. Eusex is an adventure game that simulates daily life experiences according to your age to teach different topics of comprehensive sex education. Eusex wants to teach CSE to children and teenagers without them realizing they are learning. Before I keep going, I want to explain to you why we consider teaching sex education is so important. Comprehensive sex education contributes to the development of identity, affectivity, expressiveness, and provides abilities for life and knowledge about your body's emotions and health. According to the UN, two out of three girls in some countries have no idea of what menstruation means. Every year, 2 million children are born from teenagers of 15 to 19 years old, and the cases of girls under 15 years old are increasing. These are some of the alarming statistics of what happens if we do not teach sex education. And now I want to show you what happens if we do teach sex education. In 2007, in a public school in Lima, Peru, Every year, there were 12 cases of teenage pregnancy. To change this situation, the school implemented comprehensive sex education in math, science, and art classes. Students and teachers were trained and parents joined the project too. By teaching sex education, the pregnancy cases were decreasing, as you can see, year by year until reaching zero. With this example, I want to show you sex education has a positive impact, not only related to teenage pregnancy, but as well to break the taboos and gender stereotypes that we live in. And that's why we created EduSex. The goal is to educate through playing. In, it's a decision-making game of daily life adventures related to CSE that changes the scenarios of the game according to your age, and the geographic region where you're living in. The target of the game is to educate users about all topics covered by CSE, guiding them in their psychological and physical development. However, they will not realize that they are learning. They will just think it's a game and they will have fun with it. Despite being educational, we give equal importance to gamification, as it is a fundamental part to engage users. We rely on experts such as psychologists, sexologists, and educators as part of the content development team. We design a game that challenges users to be the narrators of their own adventures. CSE plays a crucial role in addressing the health and well being of children and young people. It provides an opportunity to present sexuality with a positive approach, emphasizing values such as respect, inclusion, non-discrimination, equality, empathy, responsibility, and reciprocity. I believe comprehensive sex education has a crucial part in our present and in our future. And I will stop sharing now. Um, okay. <laughs> and I wanna tell you as well that there are a lot of important topics to be addressed. And this is why here in DJ Duhak, 
you will get out of your comfort zone and generate an impact in digital education. You are already making a difference by being here and about to create innovative solutions for the future of education. I want to share my experience with you. It all started last year when I participated for the first time in the EduHack. One funny fact was that I didn't know all of the participants of my team. So I didn't know how we would work as a whole team, uh, what were their skills and how the whole team could be a good match. We, we were lucky and because of communication and we were really committed to the process and with our solution that we gave, uh, we had an, an awesome time and as well, we worked it out to divide the team in equal parts, the, the process, I mean, and we all got involved and provided the, sol contributed to the solution. After we uploaded EduSex, the project, I felt proud and thought, I want to win, but if I don't, it's still okay because this experience have already gave me a lot and taught me so many amazing things. And this year in 2021, it has been full of surprises and emotions. At the beginning of the year, when I didn't know yet if EduSex would be one of the final, finalist projects, I was excited to know the results and I was hoping we could be one of the finalists. When we were selected, I was over the moon, feeling so happy, proud, and determined that EduSex would make it to the end. The weeks of the public voting, the final part of the EduHack, it was really hard and all of the teams gave their best and all of us were pretty tight with the balls. And it was funny that because of the different timing from Peru to Europe, when I went to sleep, uh, for example, I was second on the ranking in the sex. And then when I woke up eight hours later, we were like fourth or fifth and we were all giving our best to make it to the final. And when the public voting was over and a few days later, DJ Duhak officially announced the winners and EduSex was one of them. I was feeling so many emotions at the same time and I was in shock of how happy and proud I was and of how far we have come as a team. The main feeling I had was hope. Hope that it is possible to bring to all Latin America and the world sex education. Hope that there are other people in the world that see the potential and the need in EduSex to become real. There are so many ways we can use digital education to think of innovative solutions become real. In this DigiDuHack 2021, I want you to have fun and think of, positive, of the positive impact you are having over your life and the world. There are no limits for innovation. Enjoy your digital education hackathon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carla. Uh, not only congratulations uh, for everything you've managed to do with the last year's uh, hack, uh, uh, but also for this great testimonial that really shows uh, the young why uh, it is good to participate. What are all the advantages and positive sides of uh, taking part in a thing such as this DG Edu hack.